Welcome to Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. In one moment. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent news story. What you're doing and listen. On the go? Still want to listen? Don't have one of those fancy phones with too many buttons. Don't know what an app is? Or you don't even care? Well, we got you here at Revolution Radio. Now you can dial in 24-7 to listen to our shows. We have a number for Studio A and Studio B. And best of all, it's free. Don't forget, carrier charges for your cell phone provider. They apply, though, so check with your cell provider to make sure. So ready? Here you go. Get a pen. Here's the number. Studio A is 712-432-6958. And Studio B is 716 716- 748-0112. Thank you very much for listening to Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, the number one listener-supported radio station in the world. You are listening to Journeys on Revolution Radio on freedomslips.com and simulcast with wolfspiritradio.com. Join JP, your tour guide today, on this journey of discovery from the known to the unknown in search of enlightenment, knowledge, and truth. Yes, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Uh, wherever you are on this spinning blue, blue bean uh, planet, uh, welcome to Journeys. Now, today, tonight, this evening, this morning, whenever you are, whatever you're doing, uh, depending on what planet you're on, who knows? You might not even be on the Earth. I'm sure they've got an internet on Mars in the um, in the gated community on Mars. Um, anyway, so uh, this is Journeys, and uh, tonight is a very, very special night because what we're going to be doing is something that we've never done before. But not only that, not only that. that so Something that uh, has never happened. Um, it, it also, we've got another first, which is ninety-six kilobits, which um, is basically the best. Uh, you know, it's for talk radio. It's it's excessive because we, you know, we don't really need to be in stereo um, and. Uh, you know, it could be nice that uh, one one the host is on one side and the guest is on the other, but that's going to require some extra stuff. So we're just you know the music might come out in stereo at the commercials, but uh, we're but basically you get a kind of ni- nicer ambiance if it's coming out in the in the stereo pair rather than it's, for some reason it sounds slightly slightly nicer even if it's a mono. Um, now what I've just done is uh, linked up a uh, a connection to uh, uh, wolfspirit.tv because, as I said, this is, you know, I'm just, just trying to get it there in my laptop, um, because this is a very, very uh, special night. Um, not only are we uh, broadcasting in stereo on Revolution Radio, uh, Mike has just put in the new, uh, the new bits uh, the new servers and lines and, uh, you know, uh, pieces of very extended and very um, damp string, very damp string indeed. And um, they've stretched it between the two bean cans and they're getting quite a good signal. 
and uh, getting up to 96k, um, it could be 128. Doesn't matter. I mean, really, uh, basically, what you're getting is is uh, the best possible quality that we could get um, if people are calling on on Skype. Um, and uh, so, like I am, I'm using a studio facility. And you know, let me just uh, hear, hear what I say. Yeah, it sounds nice. Uh, the, the only trouble is now you can hear the background hum that I've got. Anyway, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, as I said, we've got something else. We've got wolfspirit.tv. Now, last year, um, I spent uh, quite a bit of time wrestling with the whole Wolf Spirit Radio um, domain and radio station and streams and all of this stuff uh, because uh, Dave Corso, our dear friend and uh, colleague, um, died suddenly and said, you know, to, basically told every medium he could when he died, uh, JP will look after the station. So um, I spent a lot of time uh, kind of uh, rather snowed under, rather, rather overwhelmed, but I'm kind of up on the other side and um, I've been helped by a fantastic team um, who have uh, helped me through this and we're, we're re redesigning it, we're rebranding it. Um, we've got new colors, uh, new new pictures that have been drawn. So there's uh, uh, some great graphics by Michelle Caruso uh, and Nancy Hopkins uh, is doing the the ongoing graphics, and uh, Colleen Kelly is uh, is broadcasting. And uh, we've now gone over to our um, uh, 128k stream huh. <laughs> at, uh, at Orion. Uh, and so, uh, so basically, uh, Wall Street Radio is also broadcasting in stereo tonight uh, as a follower. Um, or is it? Or are we still on Studio A? Oh, let me just check. <laughs> I, bet, I bet it's not on. Yeah, that's right. What an idiot. You know, I've been talking about it being in stereo, and, and all they've been hearing is Studio A. Uh, so I have to go and change this mount point. Uh, I do apologize for all that. But, uh, yes, yeah, because the um, the whole thing is all very complicated, this this stuff. So I'm just going to get the, uh, the Studio B URL. Now, um, if you're on... Wolfspirit.tv. I'm, 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 in a way, I'm stalling because these all, all things are, are, are kind of needing a bit of synchronization to get, you know, once we get a show going. So we'll, we'll take a few minutes to, to um, get this, get this thing uh, up and ongoing. Um, I'm just going to restart the song, the, the, uh, the stream on uh, uh, Wolfspirit Radio. So you should now be hearing the. Uh, the stream. Now, I'm now going to bring in uh, Tierna Sauer and the Scottish Sovereigns on the land. Ning.com. Right. So, now. Uh, huh. What does it say? Your streaming sound online and operational. Let me just check and hear that that's, that's working at. Uh, there we go. We should be having. There we go. And you are Ryan. Is that connecting it? I have to restart it, I think. All right, did restart. So we're just going to bring in the uh, Wolf Spirit stream. And uh, once I've done all that, I can bring in the rest of the people. Is that not working? Let me just have a look at this. Uh, there's always stuff that has to go on to make one of these. Uh, uh, all right, so maybe I take out, uh, don't take out that. Does that do it? Station is offline. All right, start then. Yeah. All right, no. Right. Now, I can hear some... There we go. Lovely. That's... Uh, that's Lorian show. So now um, we just have to wait. Um, it should uh, flush itself, and you should be hearing any second now. Uh, Wolf Spirit Radio. Um, now, uh, let's see. Um, yes, let's make sure that the, the relay is there. Right. So now um, we have the the uh, the YouTube connection. Um, yes, and uh, let me just uh, if she, so. Uh, again, wolfspirit.tv, uh, there should be some sort of signal coming thing. Um, I don't know if it's uh, working yet. 
I've, I've got this iframe and I've posted it. Let me just uh, try it once again. Edit the budget back. But, uh, we'll spare it. Uh, um, and uh, I'll to get all the characters. No, no, that's all right. Let me just uh, HTTP. That one there. Update this, and uh, yeah. See so if you can refresh your page. It's uh, we'll it. It's um, you know, it's one of these experimental things. Now I'm just gonna check if Wall Spirit Radio is now uh, flush the cache and it's coming through. No, I'm still getting Laura and Fenton. Ah. Yes. Right. Okay. So. That's okay. I'm having I'm having some technical oh, weirdness on. The TV was going. Uh, my if, if, uh, if you go straight to the YouTube, um, and holy I'm heck! The YouTube uh, link straight into the uh, chat room here, um, just so that yeah, because it is experimental. We n nobody knew if this was going to work or not. Um, so uh, there we go. Excellent. Okay. So um, Colleen, if you can po post that. Um, and uh, if you post that in the chat room, then uh, we'll see. So, uh, can you hear me? I'm sure you can all hear me. There we go. At the uh, at the uh, I'll post that in the testing one two three uh, testing radio three. as well. Testing. So that's a live link hmm. the, that I've just posted um, into the uh, Rev Radio chat room and should be going soon into the uh, Wall Street chat room. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's just, let's just move on. Um, and uh, tonight, testing one two three. Uh, am I here? Partners in crime <laughs> in uh, in this uh, spectacular um, weirdness is um, all right. So uh, on long piece of string, on two bits of string, sent one way and back the other. Joining your Google Plus account which is then going through to YouTube which is hopefully giving us some pictures connecting in with the Skype on the other end which is where we are uh, is uh, David Brian Kelso it says here um, David where are, where are you welcome you, tell us you, where you are and, and what's going on for you can you hear Remember me we're on Wolf, we're on we're on lots but you can be heard on Wall Spirit Radio JP can you hear me Yes, uh, you're a little quiet. Can you can you turn up a little bit? Uh, sure. I'm, we're having some technical difficulties, and I am doing my best to iron them out. I'm trying to get Rochelle and Tyler connected, and they may or may not be at this point. I know they've been trying to get on. Is my volume any better? Uh, yeah, you, you're fading in and out a little bit, Dave. Um, <laughs> testing one, two, three. Um, yeah, have, have you got a background sound there? Uh, no, we have, I think, Rochelle DeYoung and Tyler Thomas have finally made it. Hello. Have, hello, you've got people in the room. So uh, uh, do you want to get them yes. down? Now, yeah, let, now, let, 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 now let's see if Rochelle can enable her camera without like crashing her cell phone. Because we were uh, Skype texting back and forth. She was having some, diff some technical difficulties trying to uh, even come, come into here in the first place. What? You. Yep. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Okay, because I don't see you at all. <laughs> I, I only see I, I only see your little avatar picture, <laughs> but no video. All right. Yeah, okay. I, so I, I hear you both. Uh, remember that we're talking to loads and loads of people uh, um, on the air. Uh, yes, we are. So uh, could you introduce the people uh, like they were coming into your studio? Mm -hmm. I know they're coming into your living room, but as if they were coming into your studio <laughs> with a great kind of impressive buildup. Uh, all righty. Well, um, there's a bunch of people that I've invited that I'm trying to get in, but currently joining us at the moment are Rochelle DeYoung and Tyler Thomas, and they are boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, as you couldn't tell, obviously. I think they've been together about three years or so now. Yep. And 
Rochelle is what you might refer to as a crystal kid. That's a buzzword anyway. And she drives race cars and rides horses and she takes photography and she does nail art and she paints and she draws and the list goes on and on and on and on. So she's definitely one of these extremely multi-talented, awake and aware people that have been put into the um, Nazi indoctrination camp that we know of as school. But she is surviving it like a trooper and she's just turned 18 and she's about to get the heck out of there and um, you know she's looking forward to starting up her YouTube channel and getting that going with stuff and all sorts of stuff like that. Well hello Rochelle welcome to Revolution Radio I'm JP the uh, the host of this this uh, this link up um, it's a bit it's a bit like that Beatles one maybe I'll to play all you need is love or something um, <laughs> one day I'll get the hang of the uh, the stereo player that is available to the studios and, and uh, that will enable us to play stereo music because uh, because you can't play stereo music over Skype because it's mono so uh, Skype ruins everything <laughs> if you play play over there um, as many people have heard when I've uh, been producing uh, Sean David Morton show uh, on the other side anyway so um, we're gonna also be uh, adding so so let, let's just let's just run through uh, how many stations we've got uh, on my end, I've got uh, Tierra Sour in Ireland. I've got Scottish Sovereigns on the Land in Scotland. I've got Ever Beyond Radio in London. Um, uh, in uh, in Nevada, I've got uh, Wolf Spirit Radio, uh, and uh, of course from Kentucky is uh, Revolution Radio, FreedomSlip.com. So, from your end, Dave, <laughs> who have you got connected? And how have you got them connected? And I'll bring it in Osprey Live any second. Alrighty. Well, um, obvi obviously, um, Osprey Networks is usually connected through me, except for today, and he's going through you today. So other than that, I have two laptops right here. Um, this one that I'm pointing to that no one can probably see despite that. Um, this is the laptop that is hosting the... Um, Google Plus connection. Oh, there's Tyler. He uh, it looks like he he came in on his own uh, thingy there, but I'm still only seeing an avatar. Anyway, so as we appropriately uh, bring that up, we have the one <laughs> laptop that is hosting the um, Google conversation. We've got another laptop that is hosting the Skype. And, um, you know, it's just a reversal of a microphone and headphones between the two laptops. The headphone jack on one connects to the mic jack on the other, and vice versa. Then just make sure all the uh, audio volume levels are set, and um, you've got a, a two-way flow between Skype and YouTube, which means, you know, streaming video, internet, radio, all kinds of stuff, anything that your imagination can uh, dare to concoct and uh, crazy enough to try out. Jolly good. So in terms of people, you've got, uh, um, we have also Reverend Eli. Do you want to introduce yourself, Eli? Actually, you're Rev Eli. It might, you might just be called Rev. Uh, <laughs> like, like I Rev, you know, that might be your name. Anyway, so uh, Rev Eli, uh, what's the deal where, where you're at and um, what's happening? Um, we're broadcasting live from Osprey Radio. Yes, indeed, and from beautiful Bessemer City, North Carolina. Okay, can you increase the sound of your uh, your um, mix a little bit? About uh, three notches more, and then or we'll go closer to your mic. Uh, how about that? That butter? Oh, that's much better. That's much more comfortable. Yeah, there we go. So there you go, Eli. So um, so there you go, North Carolina. Uh, yeah. This is very. Oh, uh, you know, uh, we we should have some Antipodeans. Uh, if anybody, let's just let's just all say, you know what I used to do? I used to do um, uh, CB radio, and one of the things we would do late at night is see if we could skip, which was to yeah, get uh, um, across the horizon by bouncing off the ionosphere. That's why it's called skipping. It skips across the across across the world, and it only happens at certain times of the year when the when the you know the currents are right and everything. Um, 
and that was that was the big thing, you know, to to get as far as. Uh, but really, on the internet, you know, we should be, you know, really impressed if we can get to Mars. Um, uh, but actually, you know, I think there's a. a did anybody see the uh, the little clip about the gated community on Mars, on the Daily Show? Because it was just a, a beautiful piece of comedic disclosure um, that revealed Dick Cheney's organization, um, without, you know, obviously mentioning Dick Cheney, but. Uh, uh, the uh, the Mars base and the uh, the Mars Corporation. Anyway, all very good stuff. So hang on a second. I'm just going to feel this. Uh, what's happening? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, excellent. So let's see if we're now actually playing on the new Orion Wall Spirit. I'll see if I can hear myself. No, and nothing's happening. That's not good. Okay. So um, Dave, 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 would you like to uh, bring, bring in some people and have start some conversations here? Yeah, it looks like um, we've finally got some video with um, Rochelle and Tyler. Tyler, also known as Ed Grimley over here. Um, we can see their video, but for some reason um, their audio is um, muted. So that's okay. odd. Um, they've, they've got their audio muted, and they're not quite sure how to unmute it. Right, uh, and I'm still not getting um, Rev Radio into the uh, into the into the. Is it working yet? Yeah, 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 there we go. Hello. There you are. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to tell you that my end said your end was muted, so you have to you have to unmute it. Okay. Camera. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Yeah. That echoes. Hey, kind of hey I two can play that game. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Oh my um, God! I've heard the voice of God, and it really is British, like on all those uh, TV British. shows. I am British. <laughs> David, David Kelso, David Kelso, you you have been found uh, clean as a whistle. You're fine. Go along to heaven. Move along, please. Dick Cheney, you have failed this city. I mean, <clears throat> for anybody who's watched Arrow. Because it won't work with this one. We hear you. You can hear us? Yeah. yeah. Now? Yeah, yeah, right now. Oh. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like there's some feedback. Okay. Right. There we go. But, but can't, can't, can't see, see you now, now, but can hear you. Earlier, Earlier we could see and hear you. And I can hear myself. Because we're on my laptop okay, now. Okay, that's amazing. Not on his phone, so. Okay, see that again? We're on my laptop. Instead of Tyler's phone, so you can't see us, but you can hear us. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You're just You're having lots of device, device difficulties over there, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, well, Rochelle, hmm. no, no, um, no, somebody's no, got no, a, a, if, if you're not speaking, can you uh, click on program on Skype so, so that uh, there's no echo coming back? If you've got yeah, speaking. I can try and figure something out. Yeah, yeah all, 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 all you have to do is mute it. it. Are you, Are you in the same room, room, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the problem. problem. Or, or I can mute Somebody has to switch off their mic. One of you. There we go. Thank you. Right. No, I just no, needed her. Right, okay then. <laughs> that's good. Okay, so um, that's wonderful. So the um, uh, thing is, Dave, when, when other people speak, you have to mute your mic, okay? Is that right? You are able to do that? Or does that mute everybody? Yeah, I've got um, administrative mute controls, um, you know, here because obviously I'm the one hosting this, so um, anything through the uh, streaming video end, I have the controls on, and she's coming right. through the streaming video end. Okay, good, good. All right, so um, now, uh, have, have we got a picture on, on, the, uh, on the YouTube stream now? Yeah, we should. Yeah, um, we've got sound on Wolf Spirit Radio main, mainstream now. Um, we've got sound on the second mainstream, which is not available. Uh, I, 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 uh, I want to make more announcements because I, I've been doing some work. I've been working hard. I've been working hard for the last seven months, really hard for nothing. You know. Anyway, just do this stuff. Um, 
But uh, these last two days, I've been uh, rebuilding the listen chat area, which has been a real problem. It's been crashing uh, for months and months and months, and, and people have been kind of wandering around from wandering away from Wall Spirit Radio because, like, every time they go there, the, the, you know, everything crashes on their computer, and it's been a, a pain in the proverbial. So um, these last t couple of days, I've rebuilt uh, Wall Spirit Radio's listen area. Um, using WordPress technology and HTML5, and there's no shockwave in it apart from the little spinning globe. Okay, so this, the globe should be fine. Um, and now uh, we've also instituted WolfSpirit.tv, and we've also got WolfSpiritRadio.tv as well, just you know, just in case people type the accidental radio in there. And um, we should, uh, at some point, be able to do stuff like we're trying to do tonight on wolfspirit.tv um, but uh, you can go there and there's a chat room there and there's a um, uh, uh, audio player there and you should be able to hear this broadcast even if you can't see the pictures um, and uh, if uh, Colleen you could um, paste the uh, the link into oh that's what you did yes if you um, see there's a, a YouTube link to Hagatha um, click on that and follow. Go actually to YouTube, um, and you should be able to actually pick up that that um, live broadcast. And I don't know what can what can people see on the screen there, Dave? Um, they can see when well <laughs> when she's uh, on a camera that's actually you know working. Then you could see her video like you could for a little while. Right now you just see her avatar, and her mic is muted. Um, what I was about to suggest is she has gone through just a lot of amazing stuff with uh, paradigm shifting and has made a lot of progress and identified a lot of dichotomies and, you know, practically applied the information and has been the change she wants to create. So, JP, you and I have really big mouths, and this is like her first time doing this, so let's make her feel welcome. So you and I need to kind of respectfully shut up and let her talk. And yeah, yes. that's that's what I and think. Indeed. Welcome her in. So, Rochelle, good afternoon. I'm JP. How are you? I'm trying to unmute her, and I think try, she has to trying. she has Hang to on. unmute Don't herself. Send. Yeah. Control and M. Hang on. Let's hey. let's put some jingles in here. Hey, Rochelle, could you un unmute yourself? <laughs> I could unmute myself, but then you guys will have to hear yourself echo. Uh, uh, not, 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 not as we can be ourselves while you're talking. Yeah, it, it, it's only Dave that can be recording. All right, so Dave, can you mute your mic now? Good, Rochelle. Hello. I'm good, how are you? Uh, great. Can you, can you introduce yourself? What's your, what's your name? Sorry, what was that? I didn't hear the last bit. Your name, Rochelle. Yes, I'm Rochelle Dion. And, uh... And so, and so yeah, uh, would you like to share some of your experiences that you've um, you've gone on along the way? Um, I've just kind of been like fighting more um, with like my self-image and I guess um, being a girl and like trying to be more okay with myself and who I am and what I like doing and all of those sorts of things. Uh. So, so Dave. Dave. Yes. yes. Do you, do you, uh, do you have some uh, some, some uh, topics, topics that you'd like, like to uh, bring out that uh, uh, show, us? show us? Hmm. Well, I was trying to bring out the topic of just you know paradigm shifting in general, um, because I have really seen you know Rochelle just go from very low confidence to very high confidence and um, it's been really great to see and she hasn't been driving herself neurotic and uh, being as depressed or anything like that. It seems to me that just the population in general um, seems to be in a situation like I've referred to this year as being the year of action and so far it's, it's just been nothing but that all over the place and 
just, you know, people have been really, you know, forced to face themselves lately, just like, just like really hardcore. I mean, we even see in the mainstream that, you know, even even Obama has become so so flustered and desperate that like he he resorted to this almost like lame stand up comedy sort of thing to where he had a a comedian be a uh, an anger translator and um, just like oh they both died on stage it was freaking hilarious metaphorically speaking of course well anyway so um, and just like wow. So, uh, <laughs> you remember what we were saying, Dave, about um, uh, not letting, uh, not taking over the uh, the conversation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <'Cause>, well, you <laughs> right, asked. So, yeah. So, uh, I mean, in, in terms of, all right. So, Rochelle, like we've all been going through stuff, right? I know I've certainly been going through a, a whole bunch of stuff. I've I've been really sick. I've had all kinds of um, uh, bone aches, like injuries that I've had before. Um, now you're quite young. Have you, Have you been, been experiencing, experiencing like, like this kind of grinding, grinding body, body stuff, or is it a more kind of emotional kind of? Uh, uh, what, what, what's, what's the deal? The what are the, are the feelings involved? Um, yeah, it's kind of um, emotional, but lately it's been more physical. I get random bruises and really sore legs, and bad headaches, and all that fun stuff. Um, emotionally, I'll sometimes I'll just kind of like sit all day, read a book, not like do anything productive and letting a bunch of sadness enter my brain. Well, reading is productive, so... So it's, it's, uh, there are these, uh, cloaky, uh, misty, uh, energy. Does it feel like something, I mean, does it feel like it's anything to do with, like, chemtrails and stuff like that? Does it, do, I mean, do you feel a kind of connection between that uh, do you still watch television for instance I don't really watch TV too much I'm usually just wrapped up doing homework and trying to finish that before I do anything and usually by the time I finish homework it's like 10 o'clock so then I just go straight to bed so I haven't really watched TV too often good good, good. good. That's very very, very, very bad, bad. You. well at least you're not getting double the dose of indoctrination <laughs> Well, that's right. So um, there's uh, there's these there's a lot of uh, movements of evolution, and uh, for for old folk like me, right? Um, I'm in my fifties now. Um, I've had lots of um, uh, you know emotional upset, upsets and and un, undealt with uh, stuff in my relatively long life now. Um, how you know, and these are all being brought up in my face. This is the this is what I'm what I'm saying. You know, it, in terms of what's happening to me, Rochelle, it's like uh, things that have happened in my past. Um, are they happening to the sa in the same extent? Do you find I've been getting a lot of that myself? Yourself, uh, finding yourself in your uh, in in your like childhood and and brought back to feelings that you felt like when you were two and when you were five and stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, just a lot of things getting in the way, like a motorcycle in the background, so I couldn't hear of half of the conversation of what you just said. But yeah, a lot of things like thrown in my face. Um, again, going back to school, like a lot of tests, and then like maybe friends being all weird or. Well, he was, he was, he was, he was asking, asking about past, past things resurfacing, like past insecurities and stuff that maybe you had forgotten about or lost track of, and then. All of a sudden, something happens to where they're just jumping right back up in your face again, and you're like, "Whoa, what the hell is this? I haven't had to deal with this in so long. Now it's up in my face. What's going on? Oh man, you know, that sort of thing." Oh yeah, I probably say I would. I can't think of any right now, to be honest. But yeah, I definitely would have to say that um, has occurred. Yeah, I can definitely verify that our conversations with each other lately have been a lot about just kind of, you know, diving into those past emotions and stuff. I know I've told you quite a bit about, you know, my childhood and all that and stuff I've been through, and you've been a lot more, 
you know, forthcoming with, uh, you know, allowing yourself to vent to someone instead of, you know, kind of bottling it all up and having it implode. So you've made a lot of, a lot of progress, much like uh, Katerina and Kristen. Kristen, by the way, I have no idea where she is right now, and uh, Katerina and Paul ended up not being able to make it today. Um, Daphne Dugan has gotten sick today spontaneously. It's interesting. And Rebecca Jernigan would have been with us, but she hurt her back. So it's interesting. Like the like the energies of, of Rochelle are just so intense that people are like hurting themselves on your force field. <laughs> just kidding, but you know. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, this is this is not unusual. You know, people do go into a kind of spontaneous healing crisis sometimes, um, and I've certainly gone into healing crisis recently. So um, that kind of energy is, uh, you know, the energy is bubbling up. The other thing I have to say, this is a fantastic thing. I had a caller yesterday. Uh, she called before the show, um, before I did all my shows, like early early in the morning. I do eight hours of of radio on a Sunday. Um, and uh, she called in, and, and while we were talking, I, I said, where are you from? And she said, I'm from Arkansas. And, and I said, you must be on a whole bunch of crystals. Because I noticed that all the crystals in my, in, in, on my desk and in front of me and in the room, they're all sparkling. And they're still quite sparkly today, you know. They're all like, oh. And I, I noticed that there was a bowl of crystals in my kitchen, like two rooms away. And they all sparkled at me uh, after after this phone call. So they there was this kind of um, uh, morphological field connection, quantum field connection with these crystals uh, that uh, got sparked by the the uh, the encoding of this woman's voice in the phone call. And these are the kinds of uh, very strange phenomena that that are, ca that are happening. They are there are good synchronicities. They are like good things that are happening, good coincidences. Uh, that are energetic and beneficial that uh, are causing people at the same time to go into healing crises, which is, you know, you basically go through whatever you need to go through in a very short order, and it can't, and sometimes it's not very pleasant. Sometimes you do have to feel, uh, you have to feel sick, you have to feel ill, uh, because you've been suppressing that ill feeling all your life. Uh, and so that's been going on for you, Dave, is it? Yeah, totally. Um, I've also, you know, I always say that silly is the gateway to the serious, so one thing to help deal with a lot of these shifts a lot better is um, to just kind of uh, let go and just be yourself and just, you know, have fun and don't worry about what everybody may or may not think and so on and so forth, you know, disarm that, that inner Nazi, so to speak. Because I think that, you know, just having fun is very important, and people like to forget that, that we're human. We're not robots. Like, society teaches everybody to be a robot. Do this, obey that, don't question that, put this here, you know, like being brought up to be freaking chattel within this Nazistic educational system, so we actually forget that, you know, we're human, that there's an emotional component. And that having an emotional component doesn't mean you like need to go on drugs or that you're unstable. It just means you're human. God forbid humans on Earth. Wow. Concept, right? So I would like Rochelle to tell us what she likes to do for fun. Hmm, for fun? Well, definitely I like to read. That would be one of the first things. And then the second thing would be art. So painting and graphic design, um, so like playing with Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, like to hang out with my boyfriend, that's fun. <laughs> um, just like a bunch of activities. Um, I like bowling, haven't gone bowling in a while. But in drag race, drag racing is fun. Yes, tell us about the car racing, That that is cool. I, you know, I never heard of, um, you know, the types of organizations that, you know, you're into with that or that that even existed. So I found that to be very interesting. Tell us about that, please. Okay. Um, so basically, you drive this, um, I'm not exactly how big it is, but this dragster that's like the, the triangular ones, as most people are familiar with. 
and they just go down a two-lane track um, at the same time, and you get to see who gets there first and who gets closest to their dial-in time, so that's basically their estimate on how long it would take from start to finish. Um, you get to go, they have a limit of 85 miles an hour, and my top speed has been 84.94, I believe. So I've gone pretty fast. Um, I've won a lot of awards, um, won championship. Um, I don't know how many first places, I think like five or six. Um, a lot of track records, and I've gone to a lot of different states in the Midwest to go and race there. Um, this year, though, um, I'm going to be on a team with my friend, and so we're going to be racing the same car. Um, so if um, she can't race, I'll be there to race in place of her, and she'll just be racing most of the season. I'll just be her backup in case she falls ill with something. So that's all I can think of. That's very cool. So what kind of other stuff are you uh, are you into? Like, I know that you do some amazing things with frickin' nail art. Like, I could never have the patience to be that intricate with something that small. It totally reminds me of... Um, a while back, there was this one uh, client I had that, you know, I fixed computers and stuff for him, and he was a jewelry shop owner. He was really good at fixing watches and stuff, and he's using all these little tools and with these little components, and it's almost like surgery. I'm like, man, how are you so good at that? That's what your nail art kind of reminds me of, you know, my time back at, over, you know, working for the jeweler. Yeah, it kind of is like being a jeweler. You have a bunch of like little small tools to help make little designs. It's kind of like painting on a really tiny canvas, and you need good eyesight and high tolerance for paint fumes and nail polish remover. Um, I don't know. It's a lot of practice too. Like anything, I've I think I've been painting my nails since I was eight years old, eight or ten. I'm not quite sure, but I've painted since I was young. So now it's just just developed over the years. You could totally paint those on to, like, press on nails and stuff like that and totally sell those. Yeah, I've tried making some, some, ugh. I've tried to make um, a couple designs sometimes, but I haven't, I'm not used to those kinds yet. I'm used to my own, so I'll just have to practice on those and see if that'll be better, and then I can yeah. make those designs, too. And I know you got summer coming, so that's cool, because I really think you could you could make a killing with that, because... You know, people really like your art, and it, you know, I I really think that they would buy it if uh, you actually had that available. Um, people can go to foreverartist five four five four dot deviantart com to uh, check out her little art gallery with her nails and her drawing and her drag racing and you know all that stuff. Yeah, you are a woman of many talents, from what I've seen. I believe that too. So, so Eli, hey, the Eagle Eye. Who's that? No, I was just saying, hey Eli, and you were saying so Dave at the same time as I was oh, saying, right. hey, hey Eli. So it kind of morphed into yeah. hey, hey Eagle Eye. I was just about to say, would you like to bring Eli into the uh, into the mix? <laughs> so um, yeah, you're, you're you're on there, Dave. So, uh, um, Eli, good afternoon. How are you doing? doing I'm us? doing all right. How about you? I'm all right. What what's What's been what's been uh, eating at you these last few weeks? What what have you been um, not eating at you? I, what have you been eating in terms um, of information and knowledge and wisdom and what, what have you been crunching up? And, um, and, you know, chewing up and spitting out. Hmm. Well, I've been been playing been with learning? WordPress, like just like you. I've been been beating the crap out of WordPress for the last few weeks. Um, I redid the you know all the Osprey website just like you've been doing. Um. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out how to how to get more out of it. You know. Excellent. So, um, so what uh, what kind of uh, guests do you have on uh, Osprey, and uh, where, what's your coverage? Is you know, with, with, your, who's your target audience? Um, our target audience is people about my age. Um, just about anybody, really. And we, we play a lot of rock and roll. We, we do a couple talk shows. and uh, We have a good time. What's your age? 
My age? I'm about to be 38. <gasps> 38. My God, that's almost 40. I know. But it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm older than everybody here. I'm like sort of grandpappy. Uncle Jay. <laughs> You're chilling with Uncle Jay here in the uh, Revolution Radio chat room. Um, oh, I have to uh, make some station... Uh, station uh, announcements. Revolution Radio is, of course, listener-supported. Um, donations are running are, are running, running uh, in great need at the moment because we've just gone stereo. Yes, indeed, we've just gone uh, from uh, a measly trickle 32 can like a piece of cotton thread between two, two big old cans, oil cans. Not very good. And then we've just gone to 120. No, we. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do that again. On May the 5th, we're going to go to 128 kilobytes. Yeah, 128 kilobytes. Now, um, those of you who are not of a technical bent, um, uh, you can have it straightened out. Um, but if if you don't understand what that means, it means the difference between. Um, hearing something that sounds like it's coming from over a field in a rock concert um, over the over a hill and you know just kind of <laughs> um, uh, and the difference between hearing it right up close and yes perfect you know so uh, that's Hawk has just installed this amazing uh, high bandwidth fiber optic uh, um, piece of string uh, with a very very high technology can and we got the two cans, and we're just getting up to, to the good tension, getting to the sweet spot. The tension just be between the cans, kind of really getting a good ding, 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 uh, and uh, not getting the uh, not um, snapping, of course. And um, we of course have to have the uh, the entire string buttered at all times with uh, high quality butter. Anyway, um, in order to make that work, uh, but that gives us this fantastic stereo sound uh, that you're hear hearing now, except. That I'm coming over Skype, which is a 16 kilobyte, which um, yeah, squeezes it back down again to a little piece of wet string. <sighs> it's sad, but it's true. One day we're going to have some high, you know, high performance stuff um, uh, from the guests and and the uh, the hosts. We're going to come in by a different means than Skype, uh, and we won't have to complain about it anymore. Things might be better, uh, although bandwidth is still an issue. Um, how are things going over, Dave, on the uh, on the Google thing? What what are people seeing? How can you describe for describe for the blind listeners on the radio um, what it looks like on the on the television? Because it's not happening at WallSpirit.tv. Well, not not on my on my copy anyway. Okay. Well, we've been we've been having obviously on and off trying to get this going. Technical glitches on all ends, all over the place. So right now. Um, Rochelle's um, video is not uh, enabled, and so I just turn mine off for the moment. So what people can see is her little avatar picture along with mine. And, you know, it's a nice, you know, regular, like, YouTube video. Um, if you go to youtube.com forward slash PSEC documentary, then it should be, you know, right on the main page. It says live events, live now, and you know, boom. Um, it says we got at least three viewers uh, connected from somewhere or another. And um, I think, um, I forgot whether or not uh, the Google chat can do up to 10 or 20 people. It's um, a fairly sizable amount. And each one gets their own little, you know, icon and video and all that. And those who are able to do uh, video, it'll show up in those screens, and Google will pick the screen based on who's talking. Although it's obviously not a requirement to have, you know, video to be able to do this. It can do audio as well, and full quality audio, not just the limited, you know, wisping over the hills audio, but you know, full quality just as, as it could do uh, HD and video quality. It's got full audio quality as well. So It's interesting that Google yeah. has come out with that. 
but yeah, it's yeah. Well, uh, this, is, nice. this is something we, we're going to be working with, Dave. Is is um, expanding the quality and and making the, these things. I mean, we're working with. Uh, the thing is, it's the amount of storage that's available uh, to uh, store the archives. So, because for instance, you know, I'm not going to be able to store archives that are bigger than 25 kilo, kilo um, uh, 25 megs. For two hours, you know. Otherwise, it gets astronomical running a radio station. <laughs> it's like you got to. I mean, there's more and more, but it, it makes downloading and uploading slower and everything like that. So, um, so we we have to keep the archive small. But uh, I, it's uh, it's good if you can get high quality archives that go straight to YouTube. That's very handy. And if we could find a way yeah. of automating that as an API, um, and uh, uh, somehow having a central hub that's on the web uh, that never gets lost, like Skype does, that uh, you know that will always be connected, um, and we can uh, work better, have better, better uh, connections. On well, that. they are so they are see. working on decentralized um, internet technology, which has a lot of promise. And um, the other week, someone was telling me that to them. Decentralized internet technology just you know sounds like you know some sort of little you know hacker hobbyist you know trend that'll come and go and I was like funny you know they used to say the same thing about the internet. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I mean the internet used to be just like Star Trek and porn, uh, but now it's it's cats. That's great. We've we've evolved. Anyway, yeah. um, I want to bring in a member of the Revolution Radio community, um, and uh, so uh, because he tried to call me and it won't work, so I have to bring him in, and uh, 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 this gentleman actually comes from, or, or is actually living in the place that I grew up in London, uh, although I live in Scotland at the other end of the island, he is there in Bethnal Green. Uh, our our reporter with his feet on the ground and his head in the clouds. Hiro Benon. Hello, mate. How are you? Hello, 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 brother. So we're brothers now. We are indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother from another another galaxy, you know. Anyway, brother from another planet. Somebody somebody sent me that 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 um, video recently. Uh, th there is something that I would like to say. It's like um, everything that you're talking about. You, have you noticed that everything seems to be connected? From nails to the highest level, everything is it's all connected. Everything is connected. Nothing is less. Nothing is more. It's quite interesting listening to what you've been sp speaking about so far. Yes. Yeah. Universe is a fractal. Can I just ask, yes. Rochelle? Rochelle, are you a Virgo? I am not a Virgo. Ah, you you got Virgo somewhere, like Moon or something. Yeah. To to do those little detailed things. To do that tiny little thing takes it takes some something somewhere in Virgo to do that kind of stuff. My 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 girlfriend is a Virgo, and can do these teeny tiny little. She makes these little gnomes, like makes gnomes out of felt, felt that she made herself from her husky dog. You know, it just amazes me what she what she can do with her hands. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, maybe yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll discuss uh, astrology maybe another time. But yes, Hiro, everything is connected, and you're well, that, connected that, that, in this. That, 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 that as well, JP. Like in the creation, in like a like a, for you, you see that as um, just um, maybe something to take up with the Dyson, and then she can take that and she can create. She can create, which is essentially what we should be doing. Unfortunately, what is happening is that we kind of destruct and just take and destroy things. Sorry. Mm. Uh, JP, I'm sorry. My mind is just uh, up on the wall. You, mm. you, you drifted onto the wall. So um, uh, can, you, can you find yourself back in, back in your seat? Are you, yes. Are you, you're back in your body again? Right. Yes, I'm quiet. All right, hang on. <laughs> let's, let's everybody get present, all right? Let's just yeah. take, let's take a deep breath. Take a deep <laughs> breath in through the nose, all right? <laughs> Exactly, and, and the more the more Just present every, we become, we start to yeah, learn that everyone's been about subject Dave. to a Dave, meme. Take a deep breath, <laughs> Dave, Dave. Take a deep breath in through the nose, <laughs> right? And out through the mouth. Okay, everybody, ready. everybody, everybody, ready. everybody listening. Okay. Everybody uh, on this call. Uh, uh, position my body. All right, I position we want my three body. of these, right? So right. eat one in. All right, ready for office chair yoga. All right, when you're out through the mouth, you can feel 
a kind of mist go down your body. It's refreshing. It enlivens your body. Breathe it in again. And then breathe it out through the mouth. And only two ninety nine in every seven. Mist. Mist. All the way down to your toes. All the way down to the ends of your fingers. Feel it in your body. Feel your physical presence.